Man, the Will Smith slap was probably the craziest thing I've ever seen happen on live TV in my age. So obviously over the years, if you've ever seen TMZ and stuff like that, we've seen a lot of crazy shit from celebrities, but this easily takes the cake as one of the craziest things I have ever seen. But even after the slap thing, I figured, you know, it was all over with. Will Smith got banned from the Oscars for 10 years and we're done, right? Well, no, you see, the slap was actually more like a nuclear bomb. It's as if Will Smith just walked on stage with the red, big red button or whatever, and just pressed the button and dropped a nuke on the stage. Because we are now pretty much in a nuclear fallout of crazy stories and articles coming out about Will Smith and his family, particularly his wife, Jada, and just the crazy outlandish shit that happens in their relationship. You know, it's honestly probably one of the most dysfunctional families I've ever seen, and it's really sad to see, and at this point, I'm starting to kind of feel bad for Will. So a lot of these articles reference this podcast Jada has called The Red Table Talk. I've never heard of it personally, but it's basically, it's almost like she uses this podcast as a platform to just expose really personal stuff about her and her family for some reason. And she also uses it pretty much to bully Will Smith. At one point on her podcast, one of her episodes, she said, I never wanted to marry Will. And she cried at a horrible wedding. And Will's sitting there too, just listening to her say this shit. That is like the meanest thing you could say to your spouse. I never wanted to marry you. And you're doing it in front of tens of thousands of listeners or something. That is... What is wrong with you? That's just crazy. Will's in the video sitting there just laughing it off at the table with her, but obviously you can see it took a hit at his heart, what she's saying there. It's nuts. And she's gone on to say a bunch of other pretty nasty stuff about Will and their relationship and personal stuff about her family on her podcast. It's just like, why are these people, why is she so open with telling the world what's going on in her life? You know, celebrities are already a huge target for pretty much bullying online. They get made fun of by tens of thousands of people every day on Twitter and Facebook and stuff. But you're just giving people ammunition to pick on you guys. And it just doesn't make sense from my standpoint. Being a celebrity, obviously these people are exorbitantly wealthy and have pretty nice physical lives, but I'd imagine anyone if they go online and just see tens of thousands of people making fun of them and their situation in their life, it would take, it'd start to take a toll pretty quickly, you know, it's pretty stressful to take that sort of shit from people. But one of the worst things I've seen to come out of this was a clip from Jada's Instagram. The clip I'm talking about is a video in which Jada just walks up to Will in the middle of their house recording him without his permission like she didn't disclose she was going to record him and just she just starts asking a bunch of personal stuff about her and his relationship and you can see in the video Will looks pretty unhappy to say the least he's he looks pissed off that she's even doing this so I'll just play the clip quick here so Will you know Esther Perel is coming to the table she's going to be at the red table would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me oh my goodness. if you could film Astaire, me. Astaire, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, nah, no, nah, she, yeah, because she, don't just. Would you say that she helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another? My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. Don't Please start. watch a stare at the red table because she's helped us a lot. Can't you tell? In the video, obviously, Will Smith looks pretty unhappy with what's going on. It's like she just started recording and is trying to go up to him and make him dance around like a puppet for her entertainment or for her Instagram followings entertainment, and that's just not okay, that's not cool. And in all honesty, you know, just seeing all these articles coming out, it comes off that Will is in an abusive relationship here. You know, it seems Jada is emotionally manipulative. This is the same lady who used her podcast to sit down with her husband for the first time and tell him that she was cheating on him. She exposed this to him for the first time on her Red Table Talk podcast, and Will Smith is just sitting there looking teary-eyed, you know, looking unhappy about what she's talking about, and she just keeps egging it on. She just keeps going on about it. It's ridiculous. These people need therapy, but specifically Jada needs therapy. 
you know, ever since all this has been coming out, I've been seeing a bunch of crazy memes on Twitter. So I guess back in the day, Jada kind of had a thing going with Tupac. And a lot of people are memeing saying Tupac probably faked his death to get away from Jada. But if I were Tupac, that's probably what I'd do in this situation because this woman just comes off as crazy. So at the end of the day here, I think the lesson is, guys, don't stick your dick in crazy. And also, if you ever do gain any amount of crazy fame, don't go telling the world all your interpersonal issues. You're giving them stuff to make fun of you with. It's like a... It's like you're playing cards and you're just laying out your whole hand on the table so everyone knows how to play against you. It doesn't make sense. And yeah, Will Smith is just getting dragged through the mud online. You know, I thought the slap was bad enough, but as I said, it's just getting worse. That was just a bomb. Now we're dealing with the nuclear winter here. So yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about all this because even though I don't really care about celebrities, just seeing this all over and how it's escalating further and further is crazy to me and I just wanted to share that quick with you guys. And thanks for watching. See you guys.